Get Lit, I'm Kate. And I'm Pat, and welcome to the Civic Center Library here at Scottsdale. We're here to share our beautiful library with you, as well as some services, books, and more that we're really excited about. And we think you will be too. So, come, come on, on in, in with, with us. us. Hey everyone, welcome to the latest edition of Get Lit. Have you signed up for summer reading yet? In the newest video montage that you're going to see, you will find out that tales and tales means tales of all kinds. Wait till you see who's participating this summer. Boys, they're getting ready for summer reading program. <gasps> Good dog! <laughs> a dragonfly flew to a twig nearby, a beetle came, and a damselfly. Can I be your dog? I'm potty trained, and I have my own squeaky bone. Also, I love to play. My dog is a big red dog. Other dogs I know have dogs too. Some are big dogs, and some are red dogs. Old MacDonald had a bone, E-I-E-I-O, with a <laughs> here. Where? On my chair. Up the stairs? Right there, on the chair, there's a pair of underwear. I've learned how to be in the present. How, asked the boy. I find a quiet spot, shut my eyes, and breathe. Comet's Nine Lives? Oh, by Jan Brett. Ooh, I like her. What's your favorite part of the book? Huh? Angie Armstrong liked her job. Butters, pay attention. It's the best part. Can't read to a deaf dog. Today we're going to read a book. It's called Nerdy Birdie by Aaron Reynolds. This is Nerdy Birdie. Yeah. His glasses are too big. His wings are too small. He may act a bit afraid and shy. Once he feels safe, however, he'll be very friendly. Who knows not where a wasp does wear his sting in his tail? In his tongue. Whose tongue? Yours. If you talk of tails, you so farewell. Black-haired witch. In emerald green robes stood there. She had a very stern face, and Harry's first thought was that this was not someone to cross. Fabio is a big kitty. He's not fat, just very fluffy. George had never been to the library before. He had never seen so many books before either. Everywhere he looked, people were reading. I found a kitty. Can you help him? His name is Scamper. I really, really, really want to keep him, but my person is allergic to cats. Achoo! On the road again, going places that I've never been, seeing faces I may never see again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Oh my goodness, it's summertime. It's time to start thinking about packing up and going camping, taking that trip. Whenever our family left to go on a camping trip or whatever, the first thing we did, we sang Willie. Thank you, Kate. Hey, no problem. <laughs> and we're here now to tell you about now that we've all been freed up to some degree to travel again. How wonderful is that? Pat and I have some ideas for you for books to look at. So, let me start. Camping, Arizona. The Grand Canyon State provides a spectacular backdrop for some of the most scenic campgrounds in the country, from the cool forests of the Mogollon Rim, the White Mountains, and the burnt crowns of southern Arizona skies. This book will tell you all of the campgrounds to go to, what to expect as far as facilities, uh, fire restrictions, etc. 
As always, check the most uh, recent listing online. If you don't like camping, try RVing. And this is the Idiot's Guide to RVing. And it will tell you the simple way to know how to research and purchase an RV, how to drive an RV, how to pack an RV, Best of all, where you can go in an RV, just about anywhere here in the States. It's a fun way to travel. Finally, if you still are in the mood for roughing it, have you ever tried glamping? What's glamping, Pat? Well, my God, do you want the definition? Yes. Camping and glamping, what is the difference? Obviously, glamping is camping plus glamour, or glamorous camping. In other words, upscale camping. While the regular thing might be a simple tent and a sleeping bag, glamping camping typically involves more comfort and luxury. It's the risk of tent camping. And it's an example. Can you settle for that? And this is a great book. It tells you about all types of camping, uh, glamping opportunities, whether it be yoga, whether it be uh, glamping in the wet, whether it be glamping in the jungle. Go ahead, check it out. If anything else, lots of fun to read. Do the goats come with that, uh, that arrangement that you Probably. just showed? Probably. <laughs> well, that sold me right there. If I can get goats in with it. They never give you those in hotels, and I think there's something wrong there. Well, so I, you know, basically, I just want to remind everybody, I know that we go automatically to the internet before we, before we visit anywhere, and you should anywhere, with the fact that COVID is still to some degree with us, and to also keeping in mind that people don't always update websites if, say, they're no longer open, and COVID has closed, especially some individually owned businesses around us. You do always want to check, not just go to the website, to see who's open and what their hours might be and how they've changed accommodations. Um, one case in point, now here's, a, I just want to remind everybody that even if you're dedicated only to going on the net to look at what a city has to offer you, especially when you've never been to before, when you're going away with family, Having a little guidebook like this is such a nice supplement to your online fact-finding. Because now, what I was going to say, case in point, the first time I went to La Jolla, California, with family, I had one of these handy-dandy guidebooks. And I'll tell you, just having this visual map that shows you the whole area and has little places pinpointed, whether it be for restaurants, for um, lodging, attractions, things like that, and a little paragraph written about this, that, and the other that you're not necessarily going to find the same way on a website about La Jolla, about Flagstaff, about Grand Canyon, anything. Something like this is really a fun thing to take along with you. It doesn't take up a lot of space. And also to get you psyched about going in the first place. We have so many of these. Just look in the 914s to 917s around about in that area. It'll get you excited to get out of town and go somewhere, even if it's somewhere just half an hour to an hour away. Um, and um, so these are just some examples of what we have. You don't have to go to La Jolla, but all of California, we have it here for you. The whole Southwest, including New Mexico and Utah and where you are now, my gosh, you could even go to Texas. Um, and of course, Route 66, if you haven't done historic Route 66, you could start right here in Arizona because it certainly comes through where we are, a little north of us. Um, or you can try, of course, if you're ambitious, starting all the way in Chicago or all the way in California and going end to end. But even, you know, even if you see, now this is a 2018, but it's not the most recent one. It's still going to have, you know, I hate to say this, but a lot of the little places along Route 66 haven't changed much over time. <laughs> but again, yeah, check online, but remember, when little places close, they don't always update their websites. You might find that out the hard way, the last thing on their mind if they've closed because of COVID. So always call first, okay? Little guidebook like this is a fun supplement. Go online, but always call first. Say it with me. I always totally call first. Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, Grand Canyon, you've probably all been there by now if you live in Arizona. If not, what's your excuse? At any time of year. The South Rim, you can go when it's cold and it's totally cool. You can go in the summer, you can go in the fall. The colors all around look different at sunrise and sunset depending on the time of year. You can even be brave and go to the North Rim. Call first. There is just that one place to stay if you're there. Do you have anything else to add, Pat? Just enjoy yourself. We have a fantastic travel section uh, here at all of our libraries, uh, uh, every place in the world. We also have a wonderful collection of DVDs. So if you're traveling abroad and you're saying, I can't go to every famous place in Paris, you can watch a DVD, decide these are the five best places I want to go to, and you have an idea before you get there. And like Kate said, it psychs you up and gets you ready to go. So the world has opened up again to us. We ask you all to travel, travel safely, and come back and tell us where you went and what you did. Thank Please you. Please do. See you next time. Hey, Kate here. Just wanted to remind you that if you come to Civic Center with any frequency at all or ever, and if you like watching Get Lit, do keep an eye out for the Get Lit book display, which will have the category of books we've been talking about most recently on Get Lit, and even a lot of the same titles, all available for checkout. So don't forget, look for the Get Lit book display. Check some books out.